This is where the first of those posters was discovered. The suspect targeted Temple Emanuel's welcome sign and a back door, taping up posters that called the Holocaust fake news. We've blurred out the rest of the anti-Semitic message. Of course, Holocaust denial is one of the tools and strategies of those who want to promote their ideologies of hatred. Rabbi David Meyer says the temple is working with police to aggressively pursue the young man captured on the synagogue's new security cameras. We have in our congregation survivors of the Holocaust, their children uh, and grandchildren. So it strikes very close to home. Any synagogue in America, security is just woven into the fabric of your daily life. Temple President Claudia Kaufman says in light of last October's deadly shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh and a growing amount of anti-Semitic incidents, including attacks in Arlington and Needham just two months ago, congregants need to stay vigilant. That we take security seriously, we take this incident seriously, but we come together as a community and we don't want to live in a fearful situation. And members say this message here at this temple will not change. Police say no tip is too small. Uh, if you saw somebody maybe in a car that was idling or here on the property after hours, contact them. It still remains to be seen if they release that surveillance video. We're live in Marblehead. I'm Mary Salatin, WCDB News Center 5.